Now, we've all seen sliding head technology, but how do you program three turrets and two spindles to all work simultaneously? Well, Mark, we're stood in front of this start, and you've actually done that. You program this yep. to make this amazing little part. So how challenging is it to program this machine? People who know these types of machines and have a lot of skill on them will find that reasonably straightforward. But that knowledge is disappearing in terms of the industry. So SolidCam is there to try and fill that gap a little bit. We have the expertise, we have the knowledge within the software to make this type of programming very easy. Programming something like this, even from start to finish, even designing the part, probably took just over two hours. And I would normally expect, OK, if I've got the design in front of me, maybe an hour or so and that should all be done. See, I've never seen a CAM software that can do, obviously, your, your three-axis, your four-axis, your five-axis, but also do sliding head as well. And especially this type of sliding head, because you've got so much going on. There's a lot going on in a small area on here. So the way SolidCam programs it, we'll break it down and you program a turret individually. So we'll probably program whatever tooling we've got on the upper turret, on the main spindle here, and that will inter interact with what we program on the lower turret. So we'll program this end of the machine um, effectively in storybook, so we'll do it in the order it's going to be machined. Then we'll program the subspindle and the work on that. And then we have channel synchronization manager on there, which enables us to, to mix those together so that we get the optimum program and optimum cycle time out of this. So, how did you actually program this part? What sort of features in SolidCam did you use? Well, what we've got on here, when we're working within our technology center, we're working with obviously tooling partners as well. And they're obviously kind enough, Iskar Tools are, are, are working with us on this. They're kind enough to provide tooling. And, and we'll ask them for a start, which tools do you want to show and how do you want to show this and what, what do you want to do? And then we'll build a part around that to show the functionality on the machine, the functionality on the tooling, and how SolidCam can support both of those. Because we're all looking at a solution between all the partners here. So on something like this, we've got a few features on there which are done purely to show the um, features off, but they're also technologies which are used in the industry. So for example, we've got two flats on there. They're opposite each other, so we can optimize that and have, instead of having one cut and then the other one cut, they can both work together. That's very, very simple inside SolidCam. So we'll do all of that type of thing. The work on the back, which is the drilling, the boring, the shredding on there, is all done with a single tool. So we like to show that off as well. So that one tool does all that work on the back. So something like this, we'll work with tooling companies, with this car. Okay, what do we want to show off? Why are we using this type of tooling, this type of thing? And we'll build a part around it, and we'll make this then as optimum as we possibly can on the actual machine. The machine's got 12 axes on it, and we can theoretically use all 12 of those together. Now, it's very rare that we would, but we'll try and push that envelope and show what the machine's capable of as well. There's various parts we've cut within the last year on this ST20. We've cut, cut the World Cup. We've cut um, on the SR38, which we had before. We've cut five axis impellers. Not because they're necessarily what people cut on a day in. We're trying to show what the machine is actually capable of and what the software is capable of. So that's really what we're trying to show on something like this. The parts uh, are nothing really part on there, but there's a lot going on. And it's a, in terms of programming, it keeps it very simple. So SolidCam's actually got quite a few safety features as well to, to help people who are, uh, who are new to CAM software. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot built into SolidCam. It's to stop a lot of the silly errors which could, could perfectly well happen. Historically, these types of machines have been written either on the control or they've been written in basic software where you're just literally just writing the code offline and copying it across. Now that you can do anything in. It doesn't mean to say it's going to work on the actual machine. We're going to check all of that offline before it goes to there. We can simulate all three turrets working together with inside SolidCam. So we can check for collisions. We can check to make sure things like superimposition are working. So we're working on two turrets together. Um, but this has got a Z-axis of its own on the bottom turret, Z3. And obviously the Z1 going through the part. They can work together. Now, we can build that in and, and demonstrate all of that in the software. Without having that visualization, you wouldn't see it. You wouldn't know if you could actually do it. So that's just, it's just great to hear for, for, he, for people who are looking into this software who maybe are, are running three axis or even five axis at the moment that it's nice to know they don't have to buy another software. They can use one software to run their whole shop. And if they are moving to something that's new, 
It's got the features in to help you, to guide you, and also essentially save you if something goes wrong.